Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Tonight we're back ripping open some more old product and in the form of 94 Sportflix 2000. This is the first year that Sportflix returned to the hobby after a four year hiatus. So the hobby box here, we have 24 packs. We have eight cards per pack. We're ripping to tonight. Not really a highly desirable set to begin with. The Alex Rodriguez was the big rookie back in 94, but did not make his way into this set or into these boxes. He ended up appearing in 94 Sport Flicks Traded, which uh, can be found. They're about double the price of these. Boxes of these are around um, about 30 bucks, 30, 40 bucks if you're looking on eBay. And uh, the Sport Flicks Traded are about 60. This one does not want to open up at all. So I appreciate you guys being here. I wanted to try to do this one a little bit early because of the debate here at 9 p.m. But before we slash into this, I want to inform you guys of a giveaway that I'm hosting here for my good buddy, Corey Ripping for Ripkins. He is getting close to 700 subs, so he's doing a 1,000 sub giveaway. We're going to try to launch him to, to 1,000 from 700 here. He's getting pretty close, but um, he's giving away a trove of freaking awesome cards, and all you got to do is be subscribed to him and he'll be posting a video this weekend uh detailing more of the contents and whatnot and the uh, requirements for this break but the, or i mean this giveaway but um i'm going to show you a sneak peek or a sneak peek of what he is giving away all you gotta do is subscribe and comment on this video that's coming out this weekend but here's what Corey's giving away kyle ripkin 84 don russ psa 10 is definitely a nice one. I think a value that's like around like 70 bucks, somewhere in that range. But that's one of the possible giveaways. And all you got to do, like I said, is subscribe to him and comment on his future video coming up this weekend. We have a Nolan Arenado 2010 Bowman Prospects. It's a Mint 9. That's the next one. Let me try to hide these off camera here. A little build up the suspense a little more. First Bowman card from Arenado. The next one. We have a Juan Soto Auto from 2020 Allen and Ginter. This one's not numbered, but I think the value on this one is around $100, somewhere in that range. That's another possible um, prize there. This next one's freaking awesome, too. What's up, Rusty and everybody else? This lot is the next possible prize. Uh, all tops fire, and they're all 10s. Tatis Jr., Tatis, as some people may refer to him as, <laughs> Vladdy Jr., and Pete Alonzo. So this is one possible prize. All 10s, all fire from 2019, all rookie cards. And then the final one, last but not least, this Aquino from 2020 Heritage. And this is an autograph. I think the value on this one's around 100 bucks. So total value here, I don't even know what it would be at. Maybe five, 600 bucks, somewhere in that range. Maybe a little more, I don't know. Um, but these are all possible prizes and all you gotta do is be sub to Corey and comment on his video he puts out this weekend and you'll be entered in that giveaway and we will uh, do that on this channel once he hits a thousand subs. So let's get him there. If you're not sub to Corey, check him out, help him get there, help him give that stuff away. But, uh, here's the link to his channel. If you're not subbed to him, I'm sure most people are, but, uh, ripping for Ripkins, give him a sub and stay tuned on that but let's get down to it i have not seen these since 1994 they were $1.89 a pack back then i definitely used to buy a good bit of them um as a kid and the set's not real big 193 cards the last 17 cards being a subset called star flicks there are two short prints you could pull out of here a paul Molitor and cliff floyd and uh really no desirable rookies you have curtis pride and you have kurt abbott but uh, of course a bunch of hall of famers would be found and there is one insert set we'll have a chance at. These are pretty much one per box. They're called Movers. Actually, Shakers. The Movers are retail only. So Shakers, 12-card insert set, Piazza, um, Bagwell, Tim Salmon, Kenny Lofton, Manny Ramirez, Jim Tomei. Some decent ones you could pull out of there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get cracking here. We have eight packs per spot in this break daddy daughter card breaks clay is in here it says just subbed to him did not realize i wasn't let's go john clay thanks so much man i appreciate that just subbed to Corey ripping for ripkins let me post a link to your channel here real quick daddy daughter before we start ripping i appreciate you subbing on the Corey. let's help get him to a thousand daddy daughter speaking of people getting to a thousand is 21 away from hitting a thousand so if you're not subbed to him check him out too while you're at it 
and click on that link. Appreciate that, Clay, and you being here. Let's uh, rip into these. Like I said, I haven't seen them since 94, probably. Uh, thicker cardstock. Aaron F. has the left stack here. Like I said, these are relatively cheap. I don't really know what's up with these. Interesting. The peg hook hangers. Corey's in here now. Mark R. is in here. The bowl of frosted flakes. These packs have evidently are tough to open. We have Matt Williams in the back. But I like these design as a kid. I think these are pretty basic. The two-shot motion sport flicks. Thicker card stock, Steve Carse. Kind of a cool design on the back. Cal Eldred. And they're all stuck together, of course, but no paper loss on these ones. Cheslooks, what's what's happening? Cecil Fielder, Sheffield. And these are the subset cards. Star Flicks, Bobby Thompson. And there's Allerud, Klesko, and Matt Williams. That's a cool shot of him. Wentos is chipper as a rookie in this. Yeah, he does, I think, have a rookie subset card, I want to say. Jake says, I didn't know they did sport flicks in 94. Yeah, they stopped in 90, took a hiatus, then came back in 94. Pinnacle produced these. And then they went on to make it for a few more years after that. Bobby Thompson was no star. Lopez, Luis Lopez, that's a name I haven't heard in quite a while, but he's a rookie. Like I said, only two rookie cards, actual known rookies in this set. Kurt Abbott, Curtis Pride, Wilson Alvarez. Looks like Brian Harvey, Dave Justice, Sport Flicks. These ones are pretty cool, too. I think this is where they got the idea for like the UC3 cards, which are a lot like those. Here's a nice one, though. Mike Piazza is a Cool uh, motion to him. Definitely a pretty decent one there. Travis Fryman and Pat Henkin. Ends that pack out. Criterium Racer Lee is with us. Lee, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Always good to have you in here. Hope you're doing well. Jake says, I was 14 and 94, so I grew out of it. I'm glad I grew back in. Isn't that the truth, man? It's good to hear. Yeah, I'd say that I grew out of it in like 90. I think 97 was like really the last packs that I bought. Wish I never would have, but moved on to other things like most of us did. Solomon Torres. There is JT Snow, another hot name from the early 90s. Kent Herbeck, as, or as Eric used to call him, Kent Home Runbeck. There's an Eckersley. Josh Donick, what's happening, man? And Mike Piazza, Sport Flick subset card. Like I said, these are pretty neat cards. They definitely take me back to my youth. Not really too much value to them nowadays, but they're still cool regardless. Couple Marlins there, Conan and Benito and Kevin Mitchell. That's a pretty interesting one of him. <laughs> Freaking doing the limbo. Yeah, I was I thought about getting a box of 94 Sport Flicks traded just to try to find that A rod. I actually need that one from my personal collection. Here's a cool one though. Andrew Jones. Actually, that's chipper. I was gonna say. Looks way too scrawny for Andrew Jones, but Wento is just talking about that. That is like the actual, it's not his actual rookie, but quite a few years there had his rookie um, label on there. Wade Boggs, even in like 95 Summit, he was still considered a rookie. I think you're thinking some 96 sets. Devon White, nice chipper Jones though. And Bobby Thompson again. And Travis Fryman, Star Flicks, followed by Jason Bray, Drebeck. I used to be pretty pissed off when Drebeck left the Buccos to go to the Astros. Terry Mahalan ends that pack out. Didn't Jeter still have a rookie in like 97? I feel like he did. He definitely had a bunch in 96. I think 97 even. Some cards were still saying rookie. Picked that with a lot of different ones. Steve Finley in the back of this pack. Steve Finley had a good career. Mark Newfield, the rookie of this pack. And Kruk. Tom Glavin. Is a decent one, followed by Randy Johnson. And look at that. Griffey Starflix. Probably one of the best ones you can get. Kind of an awkward photo of him to use on a subset card like that. But uh, very nice. Hell of a pack here. Ripken for Corey, who just popped in here. I think he just pulled over. Jay Buner and there's Steve Finley. Awesome pack there. I don't know how we're going to top that. <laughs> Master Angler. I don't really know what, how hard it would be to get some of these like in high grades. I guess the centering would be the biggest thing there. Is that J.R. Phillips? 
Paul Molitor, who has a short print in here. That's not the short print. I think it's like one in every 340 packs between him and uh, Cliff Floyd, Andre Dawson. So we're seeing a good bit of Hall of Famers. Jean Burkett and Frank Thomas star flicks. Pretty awesome. Back-to-back. -back. Griffey and the Big Hurt. Very nice. I like those cards. They're cool. Followed by his base card. That's pretty awesome. Two Thomases in a row. Pretty freaking sweet. Awesome. Daddy Otters is awesome. Frank. Brian Smith, what's happening? Orlando Merced. That was all about him in like 92. And look at that. Bernard Gilkey is there. As he should be opening any old box. Can't escape him. Mickey Tettleton. Sterling Hitchcock leading off. Brian Jordan. The multi sport star. Ramon Martinez. Bobby Bowers. Fred McGriff. Star Flicks. And like I said, we hopefully we'll see at least one insert in this box. Joe Carter. And there's Tettleton. PSA 10 Gilkey right there. <laughs> and these wrappers are sweet. I really do like these. Take a second and appreciate those. Freaking awesome. Back in the days of creepy crawlers. Chris Sabo coming up. Yeah, he's got to be. Nigel Wilson would have been a really hot one back then. Last pack in the left stack. Tom Hankey. Jim Tomei. Definitely seen some nice ones in this one, though. Marquise Grissom. I feel like I had this one as a kid and I had it in a top loader. I would almost guarantee it. Chris Hoyles for Corey. Robin Ventura. Ben Mack. And final card, Kevin Brown, looks like. A bad stack at all. Griffey, two Thomases, Ripken, Chipper. Probably uh, who else is left, really? I guess we got Sandberg, Ozzie Smith, and Mattingly, and quite a few others to hopefully see in here. He probably had Nigel Wilson in a screw down at one point. I would not doubt it, man. We go to the middle, it's Jordan P. Yeah, I was looking through a random like 5,000 count box uh, a couple days ago, and I found the Jose Cruz Jr. 97 Bowman in a screw down case. Like a fifty dollar tag on it. Joe says the wife got ninety three tops Toys R Us set sealed for ten bucks today. Sweet, that's awesome. RJ says starting to realize why these cards remain so inexpensive. Yeah, they definitely do. They're fun though. I mean, uh, I like to open stuff on this channel that's like is affordable for everyone. So not every you know not collecting doesn't have to cost you a ton of money. You don't have to be rich to buy cards. So it's nice to go back and open these more, you know, inexpensive ones. Cliff Floyd, I definitely had that one in a top loader back then. Todd Zeal, Pudge Rodriguez, before he was really Pudge. Yeah, they definitely are kind of like novelty cars. Mark Langston, Bobby Thompson again, possible bad omen. Put him on the watch list. Daryl Hamilton, Dykstra, and <laughs> Cheswick. I saw you in here. This one's for you, man. Butch Husky. You might as well start PCing him. I appreciate that, Brian. Yeah, I try to keep them so they're affordable for everyone. I do want to do some higher-end stuff, though, here pretty soon. I was looking at cases and stuff on eBay yesterday, trying to find, like, a, a case, like a 10-box case or a 12-box case that would be fun to actually chase after an auto or, I don't know, some high-end rookie cards. Unfortunately, like, all the stuff with, like, pull holes in each row, those boxes are crazy. I think, like, 2001 Topps created, there's, like, a blaster box on eBay right now. A 10 pack blaster. It's like freaking 600 bucks. Holy crap. <laughs> Who's going to buy that? Scott Stahoviak. I feel like that's one Paul L would cringe at. Earl Hershiser. Kind of weird seeing him uh, in a batting pose there. Jack McDowell. Curry Puckett is a nice one. And Jay Bell, Star Flicks. Langford. David McCarty. And Charles Nagy. Ends that pack out. Nothing too crazy in there. Puckett was a nice one, though. NCJ says the last case I bought was a case of Modellos. Nice. Yeah, I feel like most of the cases that are available on eBay are like, I don't know, they're like kind of like junky ones, like early 2000 Bowman, stuff like that where there's no like big time rookies you can really chase after. JV Lopes, 97 SP. David L says, pulled a Gwyn buyback auto, my first and only pack. You know what? That's not a bad idea. I don't know if I've ever seen 97 SP. I like 96 SP a lot. I really like the design of that set. I thought about getting a box of those, but there's nothing really crazy in those, like some inserts and stuff. Uh, 97, I didn't know you could pull autos out of there. I'd like to do 96 Leaf Signature Series, but those boxes are insane. 
Tartable, they're like 600 800 bucks if you can even find one because of potential to pull a Jeter Auto. Moises Alou, Aaron Seeley. I definitely had that one as a kid. I probably paid like 3 bucks for it because I PC'd him. Probably had over 100 of his cars, which back then was pretty big. Joe Carter, Star Flicks, Dwayne Ward, David Justice, and Bobby Jones with the Unibrow on the back. Ends that pack out. Yeah, I uh, I posted this video at like 10 till 8. And for whatever reason, I don't know what's going on with my YouTube notifications or settings, but it's like has it like as like West Coast time zone for some reason. I don't know why that happened, but so I'll post a break for 8.30 and it'll say 11.30. But like on my computer screen, it says like live at 8.30, but it says in three hours. So yeah, it definitely has me in like the West Coast time zone, which is kind of annoying. I got to try to fix that. And the big rookie of 96 or 94, Kurt Abbott. Is it Eric Davis? Yeah. I don't recognize him in the Tigers uniform. Alan Trammell, Kenny Lofton, and Jack McDowell. Oh, sweet. Our first insert card, Jim Tome. That's a nice one, too. Shakers. I don't know. Uh, kind of a generic name for insert set. Um, but Shakers, ninth card of the 12 card insert set. Jim Tome is definitely a nice one compared to some of the ones you can pull. Jordan P got that one. Those are supposed to be one per box. Who else do we have in that insert set? We have... Yeah, I mean... You got Jason Bure in there. Solomon Torres. Rondell White, Dean Palmer, and JT Snow. So those are the other guys we could have got. So we didn't do too bad with Jim Tommy. That's a nice one. I like that one a lot. Joker says, hey, John, you got to go to your settings and just change it to Eastern Time or go back three hours. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Albert Bell, Teen Palmer, Ultra Cringe, and Rod Beck looking like Ron Jeremy. Yeah, I have to go to my settings and do that. I don't even know how it happened. It just, like, did it by accident. I turned down the 91 Don Russ complete set. <laughs> it was 10 bucks. Should I have got it? I would pass on 91 Don Russ for 10 bucks. Unless you really want it, I, I don't think I would... I don't know. I feel like five bucks for that is kind of too expensive for 91 Don Russ. It's a pretty, there's nothing really that great in that set these days. Bob Hamlin still has a rookie, even though his rookie card is 1990 upper deck. That's pretty wild. Lance Johnson. I have a Doc Gooden coming up in here and Mike Mussina. NCJ said, John, if you don't forget, check Messenger, a really rare wax pack. Real Canadian Mountain Police. I will check that out after this live stream. Sounds pretty freaking sweet. Musina, Barry Bonds is a nice one. Phil Plantier, speaking of 91 Don Russ, he was the hot rookie in that set back then. Clemens is a decent one, too, along with Darren Dalton. Bob Hamlin, ex-rookie of the year. That's right. we got three packs left. Bunch of Corey's PC guys showing up. And there's Donnie Baseball in the back of this pack. Manny Ramirez, rookie. You know, his actual rookie card is a 92. Mo Vaughn. was a big Mo Vaughn fan back then, too. Jay Bell. There's a Sandberg. So at least all the uh, all the big-name players are coming out. Kyle Ripken Jr. Uh, subset card there. That's a cool one. I don't know if Corey has that one or not. Dave Winfield. A lot of Hall of Famers. Rob Dibble. We used to hate him. I think he's because he was a red. Uh, and Donnie Baseball. Another nice one there. Yeah, Collation is pretty good in these, too, or at least in this box. I'm not seeing a lot of duplicates. There's Paul O'Neill for Norman if he's in here. Is that Jeff McNeely? I heard that name in a long time. <laughs> so I guess it's like pretty much like one rookie per pack. Chad Curtis. Look for him in Topps Jailbreak 2021. Royce Clayton. Wilfredo Cordero. And there's Matt Williams. Yeah, Topps Jailbreak needs to be a real thing. We need to write them a letter. Bernie Williams. Cool one there. Jeff Bagwell used to have that one as a kid, too, and I liked that one a lot, too. Probably in a screw-down case at one point. <laughs> what well, wasn't back then? Paul O'Neill. Nice. Raul Mondesi, I don't think he made his way into this set. He was another one that had, like, rookie cards in here. He might be. You know, his rookie card is 91 Bowman. Mark Grace for Jason E. I don't think he's in here, but... It's a Gracie for you. Bonds, base. Nice one. 
Full man, what's happening? Ozzy Smith, good packs here. Ozzy Smith, Bonds, back to back, and Maddox had that one as a kid too. Really cool card of him. Steve Avery, old Braves aces. Royce Lewis, and Will Clark for Willie five sixty five. That's an interesting one. The Giants to the Rangers hat there, like freaked me out for a second. I was like, is that Kevin? Is he is he transforming into Kevin Brown? Like, cause they kind of look alike. Will Clark, nice one there. Ends that stack out. It kind of is a little bit creepy. Like, I thought it was Kevin Brown at first. But so far, I'd say we're doing pretty good. The last one is Joshua D. I saw him in here earlier. I don't know if he's still in here or not. And then we will go over the giveaway again for anybody that didn't see it uh, the first time around. Oh, we got a box topper, too. I forgot that they put these in here. Freaking sweet. Maddox box topper. Pretty awesome. Cheslook says last year Ryan in here. And I don't believe Nolan Ryan made this set. I want to say his last card ever is 94 tops. Yeah, that was the, the last one. Mark Ars' giveaway. Yeah, Corey's giving away a whole big stack of awesome cards. I showed him at the beginning of the video, um, but we're going to show him again. Fractal Jack, what's happening? Last stack here, Joshua D. We pulled the Jim Tomei insert already. I wonder what else we'll see in here if we see another one. Like I said, it's like one per box usually for those. Martin. Noberto Martin. Whatever happened. Norberto. Whatever happened to him? I've heard that name since I was like 10 years old. That's crazy. Barry Larkin's a nice one, though. Justin Roberts is in here. Yeah, come on over and scoop me up, man. I will gladly go. Any man's like him and Carlos Garcia. That's a cool card. The hell of a name is Norberto. <laughs> there's Alan Watson. Roberto Alomar. It's just fun to go back through these cards because there's definitely names that you're like, what? who the hell is that? Daryl Kyle. Robin Yount. And Frank Viola. Like I said, Coalition's awesome. Like, we didn't really see any duplicates yet? I don't think so. It's pretty cool. But definitely a fun box to rip if you're just getting back into it or to rip with your kid or whatever else. Is that Mark Hutton? Name I haven't heard in a long time either. Garcia and Vance like look like they're slapping each other. It's, <laughs> they did look like that. Joe says, "Where did you get these?" I got this at a flea market a few months ago. But like I said, you can get the, you can get a box of these. I think for like I think the cheapest one on eBay now is like thirty dollars shipped. I am real ornery tonight, <laughs> Justin. Mike Greenwell, there's a Sosa. Nice one there, Roberto Almar. It's like all the stars are like back to back. Juan Gonzalez. I was that was a cool card. Jokers is my two favorite players at a PC are Gibson, Don Manley, but my newer player, Tatis Jr. And it's weird because I've just noticed that he also wore the number 23, just like Kirk and Don. That is ironic, man. Carlos Bayerga. I'll keep that in mind whenever I ship things out to you, Kurt, uh, that you collect those guys. Wally Joyner and John Smoltz ends that pack out. And got Six left. Ken Griffey on the back. Nice. Scott Ruffcorn. Jack says, Alamore was my guy. Pete Harnish. Kevin Apier. Jimmy Key. I was all about Jimmy Key for like a year there when I was like, I don't know, probably four or five years old. Dave Justice. Saw that one earlier. Greg Maddox Bass is a nice one. First time seeing that. Eric Karavs. And look at that Griffey. Freaking sweet. I don't know what a PSA 10 like Griffey or something like that would be worth. I would imagine probably like 40 or 50 bucks. So pretty freaking nice. We got a lot of nice stars out of here. Joseph's out of the Dale Murphy guy. I always like Dale Murphy too. He still has a pretty big fan base. I still need to pick up his reverse negative error card. It's one I've had on my list forever, but there's too many freaking reprints out there that look identical. So I don't know if I really trust buying them raw. It seems like they go for around 40 or 50 bucks for them raw. Curtis Bride rookie card. We have seen the completion of the two rookies of this set. Edgar Martinez is a nice one, though. Charlie Hayes. I don't know if you can even see these the motion on here on camera or not. There is the Crime Dog. Lenny Dykstra subset card. There's the Big Cat for Corey. Dante Bichette, Bo's dad. So I'm sure everyone probably knew that. And Jose Canseco. Nice. Nice one there. 
Raphael Palmer on the back. Turk Wendell. <laughs> Are you Turk Wendell enthusiasts out there? Jose Rio. Dean Palmer. We were talking about him earlier. Juan Gonzalez base. Fryman. I think we saw that one a little earlier. Andy Bennis. Mark McGuire with his name spelled wrong. That is a pretty interesting one. I think that is probably an uncorrected error. I don't know. I don't think that that's one that's recognized. And it's corrected on the back. Pretty interesting stuff. That's cool. Didn't even know that one existed. Cool error card. Yeah, I don't think that's even recognized like in the Almanac or anything. That's sweet. Raphael Palmera, not only is creepy cards, but this time he's transforming from a Ranger to an Oriole. Unlike the opposite of Will Clark, basically. For a giant to a ranger. Those are creepy. Is the blank front Roger Clemens worth anything? We pulled a Clemens earlier. I didn't know that there was one of those. Probably not too much. I guess it all depends on you know the market for it out there. There's a lot of blank front cards in the 90s that surprisingly are not worth anything. Like I've seen blank front 92 Tops cards. 90, I have a blank 96 Bowman of Nomar. Uh, no tax in the front. I don't think it's probably worth a couple bucks. Was that Scott Liddy? I don't know if he really hung around too long. Jeff Blauser, we used to hate him too because he's a brave. Ron Gant. John Jaha for, <laughs> for Paul. There's that Griffey again. Freaking sweet though. Freaking sweet. And Schilling. Future Hoffer right there. Alex Fernandez. And Dave Hollins, he was a big prospect in 1990. His rookie cards were the ones that go after. And we have two packs left. We're going to find one of those short prints. That would be cool. Rondell White. Juan Guzman, another big name in the early 90s. Tim Salmon. David Cohn. And our Frank Thomas, too. Freaking awesome. That's pretty awesome collation, though. Thomas and Griffey. Jake says, let's do an auction. I might do one next week, maybe. With it. I'm not going to like limit it to like you know rookie cards or anything else or newer cards or older ones. I think I'm just going to do a bunch of different stuff that I have kind of sitting around that have kind of built up. Tony Phillips, Mike Stanley, and Jeffrey Hammonds, another big name from 92. His uh, 92 Bowman foil card was like 50 bucks at one point. History of the Cardboard says, you ever think card companies purposely create an error card and correct it so people chase it? I guess it's possible, man. I guess it's definitely possible. It's crazy. If you look back at the early Beckett's of the 90s, like the Frank Thomas No Name on Front was like 15 bucks back then. And like, I forget what the very first year that they printed that was, or it was listed, recognized as an error card. It's like 15 bucks. I know people like the auctions. Um, yeah, maybe next week we'll do one. Carl Everett, rookie, even though his actual rookie card is a 91. Chris Hoyles, it's our last pack of tonight, but I say we did pretty good. Chuck Knobloch, Ozzie Gian. If there's any other boxes that you can think of that might have like cool chase cards, like autos and stuff like that, I'd prefer to look for, I don't know, early or late 90s, like early 2000s. Obviously, auto boxes from back then. It's tough to pull them, and they're pretty expensive. I was looking at, like, a Skybox, Hobby Box. That would be fun. I think it was from 99, but they can get up there in price, too. Chuck Finley, last card of tonight. Mark Witten, speaking of error cards, his legendary 91 Tops error card. This is a pretty cool one. Joshua D, that ends his stack, and that takes us back into the giveaway again for anyone that missed it the first time around let me gather my belongings here because i got them all out of order all right all right to Corey's big 1000 sub giveaway if you're not subscribed to school to Corey. but before we go to that oddball card and shane is in here too it says the past is alive curates the awesome museum and ripping for ripkins stuffs receipt in a drawer shane thanks so much man i appreciate that Always good to have you with us. Corey, if you could please post a link to Shane's channel and get him subbed up. And there's Corey with the link. Check out Shane. Give him a, a sub. Check his channel out. Appreciate that, man. And 
There's Corey right there. Here's a giveaway. Here's what he is giving away. 1,000 subs. He's close to 700. The first prize, 84 Don Russ Ripken, Gem Mint 10. Like I said before, I think it's like around like a $70 value, somewhere in that range. Um, love 84 Don Russ. It's an awesome one. But giving away a lot of stuff. He's a little over 300 away from giving these away. But, uh, you know, if you sub them and everything else, we can get there a lot quicker. 2010 Bowman Prospects, Mint 9, Arenado, Black Border Redemption. First Bowman card. I'm not sure what the value of that one is. Probably around like, I don't know, 40 bucks somewhere in there. Maybe a little more. I'm not even sure. Next one up. Pretty freaking awesome here. Very generous of Corey to give all this stuff away. Soto Auto. On card auto from Allen and get their 2020. Not numbered, but um, pretty freaking sweet. Like that one a lot. Very, very nice of Corey. <laughs> Scott Pikes is when I first saw you in a video with your brother, I thought you looked like a jerk. You're way cool. <laughs> Well, Scott Pike, that's nice of you to say that, man. I appreciate it. Good to have you with us. I try not to be a jerk. The next one up, we have a three-card lot. This one is freaking amazing. Check this out. All rookie cards, all tops fire 2020, or 2019, I mean, and all Gem Mint 10, Flatty Jr., Tatis, and Alonzo rookie cards, all 10. This will be we be for uh, or one prize for a winner. All you got to do is subscribe to Corey Ripping for Ripkins and freaking comment on his video that he's going to be posting this weekend. So if you subscribe now, you'll get ahead of the game. And then uh, we'll go over this again uh, probably this weekend. Once he posts the video, if the weekend recap, if we do that, I will shout it out again so you will be able to keep informed on that one. There's a link to his channel. The final giveaway card of Corey's massive stack of generosity and a Kino 2020 Heritage Auto. So give it all that away, a thousand subs. Big since I've been subscribed. I feel like a lot of people on my channel are subscribed, but if you're not, yeah, I mean, all you gotta do is literally, you know, comment on a video and subscribe to him and um, you could have your chance at winning this big stack of gloriousness right there. Very cool of you, Corey. Like I said, I will uh, talk more about that in the next video, I might take a few day hiatus and come back on Sunday. I don't know. But uh, it was definitely fun to go and rip a box of these. Like I said, about 30 bucks, between 30 and 40 if you buy them online to get one of those. Or if you want to chase the A Rod rookie, it's going to cost you probably about 60. There's Don Blomdahl, the cool emoji. Donald, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate you guys all being here. I kind of want to get off before the debate because I know it's starting in about five minutes. So I'm sure most of you will go over there. Check out Donald Blomdahl's channel and give him a sub as well. Appreciate that, Donald, and all you guys. Thanks for being here. Like I said, check out Corey. Give him a sub and win yourself some freaking awesome cards. Hopefully I'll see you guys all soon. Have a great rest of your night, guys. Thank you for watching.